guys on Kings and Queens. I call you guys Kings and Queens because if you're on this channel, we put the class in class based shooter. And me, I consider myself the king, your boy Android Centaur 5, and we're back with another great video for this game called Payday 3. Um, and I tell you, this is probably the funnest build that you could possibly do on Payday as of right now. Hopefully, uh, we're right around the corner from this update that they're supposed to be doing that they hell bent on saying that it was in February. So I'm hoping they're not about to consider themselves liars and, you know, not do the update. But I wanted to get this particular build out before they uh, roll out any updates. Because who knows if this is going to change. Hopefully it doesn't. This is literally the funnest build that you can have on the game. And uh, it works on all levels. Uh, you know, me, I only really play on uh, Overkill. But this is a super fun build that if you're paying attention and you want a bit of a challenge and not just mindless shooting um, this would be the build for you uh, super fun let's go ahead and jump right into it all right so this is the infamous bombardier build uh, i did not make this build completely up by myself i saw an idea for it well i already had a bomb deck but i saw an idea that made my bomb deck better from another YouTuber, and I'll go ahead and uh, once I find the video, I'll tag him in the comments, put it down there in the comments so you can see where the original idea came from this from. Um, well, I just took his idea and just expounded on it, and now this is the end result. This is literally the best bombardier build that you can get in the game. It's literally the funnest thing that you could possibly do. If you're just tired of just regularly shooting and playing that same mission over and over again, give this mission a try. I mean, give this build a try. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, jump into it with the same format that we normally do, which is the uh, loadout into the skill points into that gameplay. Because believe me, you're going to want to see the gameplay. Because once I tell you how this uh, build works, you're gonna go yeah that's not true you're probably using mods or cheating first of all i'm on xbox you can't use mods so that's out the window um as far as cheating and using a glitch nah i'm not really into glitches i want to be satisfied when i beat the game normally uh so let's go ahead and jump into it all right so uh this is the first time that i've used this particular weapon in one of the builds uh, like I said, you can use any of the uh, ARs for this build because it's pretty much an AR heavy build. Um, you can use a shotgun, actually. But, uh, I mean, because there are really no perks in this build that uh, improves your gun whatsoever. Pretty much. It's, it's all about throwing grenades and having endless grenades to be able to throw. So I guess it really doesn't matter what um, weapons you use. I just particularly like this setup because of look how my character looks like you know of course we had to go with the baseball head because why we're throwing grenades duh and then he looks like a regular new yorker with the dirty baseball head so we got the the burnt orange and brown uh, sunset brown i guess i don't know maybe tan outfit there with the matching gloves that took forever for me to get those those Met, gold mats gloves biker gloves they're uh, navy blue and royal orange yeah, they look like they match everything pretty good. Uh, then we got the uh, custom uh, paint job on our scar with the buttons and the butt of the gun blue. With a nice accent that matches your hat and your pants. And then the orange on the, uh, the magazine holster and uh, the clips. You know, that nice tan. It just looks like it goes together really well. It looks really good. And all of this stemmed from getting that particular gun which is the uh, square off and we can go ahead and take a look at that like I said I like having the preset weapons for my secondaries um, because they, it doesn't really make a difference what your secondary is so I, I like using these I like having feng shui but you know looking at this one don't you don't think that looks good I mean of course it's just a regular Glock with a, a box uh, red dot on top but you know it looks cool i like it it matches my my whole image that i'm going for right now and then i put that same box sight on my car uh, on my scar so yeah everything seems to match up pretty good but either way uh mr scar is the uh glock and then we're going with the ammo bag ammo bag is super essential for this yes you absolutely need it don't swap it and then of course this is all about the grenades so we're going frag city 
frag, frag, frag. And just because uh, it's going with the whole aesthetic of the build, we're using the infrasonic mines. Not because you really need them or anything of that nature, but they do give you the most base mines with this one. Oh, you know what? I never thought about putting deep pockets on the mines and having even more mines. I guess that would... So they started with five, so I guess you would get six because it would just add one more mine. That's crazy. Actually, I don't even know if that works. We'll, we'll have to definitely look into that. Um, but the heavy ballistic, because uh, you are throwing grenades, and grenades are dangerous. Like fire, fireworks, <laughs> they're, they're dangerous. And then, of course, we're going with the mamba because uh, grenades. Clearly, our whole thing is throwing grenades, and we have endless grenades. And um, with this build, this uh, the mamba is OP. So, um, without further delay, let's go ahead and jump into those skills so you can see and immediately copy this build and uh, use it on your own. Like always, I'll put the uh, build in the description below if you just want to go straight to it and uh, bring up how uh, all of the perks are being activated and uh, how they work. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into the skills. Alright, here we go. Like I said, this is indeed my funnest build that I have. Like, I have the most enjoyment out of playing this particular build um anyway uh let's go ahead and jump right into it uh like i said fail surgery is the best perk on any loud deck it's always first on all of my builds at least until they do that update where almost everything will change hopefully i i don't know i like when the meta gets shaking up but uh, as of right now that's that's a staple on every loud build after that, we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into Ammo Specialist. Uh, we're only using this to get to the other perks that are uh, the upgrade perks, I mean, upgrade skills in the line. So yeah, this is good that we have uh, two additional charges as well as uh, extra ammo, but we really want Scrounger, because uh, Scrounger makes it so we replenish our uh, throwables without actually having to pick up an ammo charge. And, that's what we want that's what keeps it so you never run out of ammo you i mean never run out of grenades you always have endless grenades to throw uh and then on top of that we're doing fully loaded self-explanatory giving you two more charges um now on the original build i and it still says that uh, on the link that i'm gonna put in the description uh played up is in it played up is very good but i was kind of um experimenting with uh another skill that i never even thought about putting on here like i said i'm not opposed to change uh the core build still is the same but it's just one little detail that i want to see if if that makes any type of difference at all so on the original build you have this plate up on this build that i'm doing right now you don't have it um top up of course because that gives us back our grenades if we decide to take a uh, charge out of the ammo bag plus 20% extra ammo. Ammo really is not that important. It's just to keep the grenades all the time, always coming in. Now, like I said, on the original build, uh, we also have sprint reload, but I'm um, trying something a little bit different. Sprint reload is very, very, very good. And if uh, this build that I'm trying doesn't you know, work out the way that I'm assuming that it would, we'll definitely go be going back to these two um, skills. These are the only two that are changed from the way the build was originally intended to be played. So those two will be put back on if what I'm doing doesn't work out in my favor. <laughs> um, either way, we're skipping mower, we're skipping infiltrator, we're going to tank first point just because we want that 20% faster recharge of our chunks as always. Uh, and just because we're playing with grenades, we also need last man standing. Because if you don't do this build exactly the way that I'm telling you or going to show you how it's done in the uh, gameplay, you're definitely going to blow yourself up. And if you do blow yourself up, this is just the last safety net that you have in your repertoire. So if you blow yourself up and you have grit instead of it downing you, it's going to give you that four seconds of invincibility and keep you on your feet until you go and pick up a med bag or a first aid kit to be able to use your grid again. But yeah, this is just a safety net, um, which is really good to have on your grenade build. Um, after that, we're gonna skip everything in sharpshooter. Um, here's where the build gets really, really somewhat online. The engine starts to get online. Um, escapist, and then a perk that you probably never, ever, ever thought that you would use, which is really, really, really great 
for this particular setup um move and cover whenever you have edge and you try to bolt over something it immediately consumes your edge and turns it into grit <laughs> now i know that might not seem like uh that's not important who cares i get grit all the time anyway but just enforcer you're right but the way that this bomb build works out if you want to be invincible and have endless grenades you need this particular build to set everything up um so like i said move and cover and then from there we're going into demolitionist just the first point we're skipping all three of these because none of these are important and now on my original bomb build i had this whole thing maxed out with demolitionist aced but you don't need these three they're not that important what you need is blast a uh, blast shield overcooked and extra uh ammunitions this is to make your grenade count go from three to five uh, this is to make your grenades blow up on impact. They don't have a timer and this is to make sure that when you get hit by the blast of that uh, Grenade it doesn't kill you or do any damage to you. It just takes your grip Again <laughs> That's why that's important you're getting edge and then you're getting uh, grit and when you have edge you consume your edge you get grit and This is absorbing your grit but to what makes this even more interesting is uh, Enforcer. So if you kill someone within five meters of you, like so you get in the middle of a big crowd of enemies shooting at you, you throw your grenade at the ground uh, because you ha already have grit uh, that's getting consumed by blast shield. You also just killed two people that were super close to you. So you just got grit again and it canceled out all of your damage. These, these, or perks make you invincible with grenades it doesn't keep your grenades constantly coming but it definitely makes it so you take no damage from any of your grenades um and then of course since we're using the uh mamba the grenade launcher of course it takes forever for that thing to reload but as long as you have grit and edge it's gonna reload faster absolutely need that and then uh this just makes it so you always have grit and edge up all the time as soon as you get it you can just reload and just keep edge and grit um it just refreshes it over and over again which is super helpful useful ideal um after that we're skipping um manipulator we're skipping engineer uh this makes it so we have edge on demand at all times we put on gunslinger whenever we swap weapons you're just walking doing nothing or just running trying to get to the next objective to swap weapons and you'll just get edge you don't have to do anything other than swap weapons it's amazing uh so what you do is you swap weapons um you climb over something to uh, uh, consume that edge and to get grit you walk up to a, a, a crowd of enemies you throw the grenades at your feet and near all of those enemies it has to be at least two or more i would always try to make it so it's like three or four or five of them um the blast shield will take uh all of the uh damage that you get when you throw it on the ground overcook will make sure it blows up as soon as it hits the ground and because you're so close to them uh you get your grip right back and you take no damage because of enforcer it's amazing and then these two are just extra bonuses you just never run out of anything never take any damage and then uh we're skipping uh grifter hacker uh tactician strategist cqc and we're going to transporter just to be able to have deep pockets because we want to have uh the maximum amount of ammo bags we can carry just to you know have more uh, grenades on standby but Honestly, if you're doing this build the right way, you might not even need to pick up any ammo out of your bag because you can just run through a pile of, of, of ammo from all of these en enemies you've been blowing up and it'll probably give you back all of your grenades instantly because of that first perk that we put on all the way up here, Scrounger. <laughs> it just, hey, but 10%. I, it works way better than I guess it sounds like it would work. I don't know if that's a bug or not, but it gives it back to you quite frequently and you don't even notice it. Um, it works really well to keep that on. Um, the only one that I have noticed that doesn't seem to affect this at all or I've never seen it affect anything, I've never seen it do anything, was a uh, frugal thrower, wherever that is. I don't know where it is right now. Where the 
heck is that? Oh, here it is. Yeah, frugal thrower. The 20% chance to replenish uh, a throwable that you destroy. I don't know if that's just basically just for your throwing knives when you throw them, but I would assume that it's a, you know, it has a grenade on the picture. So if I threw the grenade, I have 20% chance that my grenade will come back. But I never see it do anything, and having a build like this seems to not even affect it, and you still get your grenades right back. Um, so. With that being said, the last thing that's on this perk is Scrambler and uh, Extra Pockets. That makes it so you have another um, uh, Infosonic Mine. You have the maximum amount of Infosonic Mines that you can get. At least, that's what I'm thinking it's going to do. Because you start out with five Infosonic Mines and this will make it so you have six. Uh, you just want everything that blows up to be as maxed as you can possibly get it. And you know... This, this might not be important at all, and I might take both of these two off and put back on what was originally here, but I just kind of want to see what happened. So we originally had played up, and we had uh, spread, fly, uh, spread loaded, but what I also could do is take off played up and put back on frugal thrower and just leave it at that. <laughs> leave it at that. Or I could take off sprint reload and put on frugal thrower and played up. Either way, these three are your options. You guys do what you like. Um, but without further ado, let's jump into gameplay and show you how amazingly fun this particular build is. Let's go. Better late than sorry. Uh, well, it's still the beginning, so that's good for me. I'm connected, but it'll take a second. There's security in place to prevent this sort of takeover. Oh, you can. So at the beginning. Don't worry about the driver. He's trained to stay in the truck and won't bother us. Oh God, no! Just a few more seconds. And done. Okay, let's get this truck to where we want it. No. We're gonna move the truck to the ramp on the other side of the construction site. This fucker's hard to crack, but there's a weakness on the underside. At least one of you needs to stay close to the truck to maintain connection, or it'll stop. Almost there. Get those cables exposed. 
see. Yeah, we all ran away from the truck for some reason. <laughs> Took all my ammo <laughs> for my grenades.
Uh, yeah, it's on my back right now. Oh, you took my ammo. I need that last one for the... Oh crap, stupid sniper keeps shooting me. Sniper taken care of! Shit, I gotta go. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.